July 1987. July 1987. Mm -hmm. the, I, I would say that July 1987, uh, the, the first month of many that changed my life. Joe needed a male role model in his life. Even at seven or eight, he was displaying issues with behavior and abandonment from his father. And I had read about Big Brothers and I decided that that might be a good outlet for Joe so that he had a strong male presence in his life and someone that was there for just him. I, I feel before I was lost. My mom did everything that she could and I know that she would have continued to do everything she could, but she, she's not a man. She couldn't give me the guidance that I get from a man growing up to be a man. And um, I still remember when she asked me if I wanted a brother. I vaguely remember signing up. I do remember when the door opened and I see this giant standing at the door. This is uh, Penguin Park. Back then it was the premier park to go to. I mean, it had all the cool stuff with the big penguins and the giraffe and all that. I'd never been here before uh, when uh, Jeff picked me up. So we came out and we started to play and it was really, really fun. Really, really fun. Even though it was with a, a new person that I didn't know, it was, uh, it was really, really fun. And uh, as, as you can tell in, by looking at the giraffe, it is very big. And when they had the swing attached to it, uh, it was, I think it was the best swing in the park at the time. Uh, and being a, a seven, eight-year-old kid, uh, the, the higher you can swing, the better it is. And uh, we're swinging. God, it felt like we were swinging for an hour. Uh, but I keep yelling higher. Push me higher. Push me higher. And then I just remember it hurt. <laughs> I remember pushing him and trying to get higher and trying to get higher. And then um, eventually something turned and he turned and swang and went right into the giraffe. And, busted his head open. I felt horrible about the incident and took him home crying and apologized to the mother and she said, ah, don't worry about it. Little boys get stitches all the time. Uh, we, we did a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, and the food was just one of the, it was just one of the fun ones. It's a very simple process. You go out to eat. Uh, but it's the way that we put it all together. And he uh, asked me if I'd ever heard of Mongolian food and I said, no and we went and ate it, and I loved it. I loved it, it was really, really good. So then we start talking about other kinds of food based from Asia, and that just kind of started a tour. Just being put into the food industry now is just kind of, it just kind of tied together some. I would have never eaten that kind of food. I probably still today wouldn't have eaten that kind of food, and now I'll try anything. About fourth grade, he came home one afternoon, excited, Mom, there's a football team down at the park. Can I go try out? And all I could think was, oh my God, my baby wants to play football. <laughs> you know, but he did, he made the team, and he played football from fourth grade through his freshman year of college. I can count the number of games Jeff wasn't at on one hand. That was at every game. When he was a sophomore in high school, he was on the sophomore team, the JV team, and dressed out for the varsity. So I got to go to three games a week. Um, <laughs> But it was worth it. It was well worth it. Christmas Eve was always Joe and Jeff's evening. Yeah, they would always do things together on Christmas Eve, and it didn't have to be anything fancy. Frequently, they went to Jeff's mom's house. But Christmas Eve was their evening together. The black and white gorilla thing. <laughs> we did the Halloween, and we did it again for Salvation Army. Jeff was at Joe's high school graduation. When Joe sang at graduation, Jeff was right there. When Jeff graduated with his master's, Joe and I were there for graduation. The day before he turned 21, he turned 21 at midnight, we walked in the door and uh, we had a few drinks and uh, had his first real shot yeah. that we were aware of. No, that, was, that was my first shot. <laughs> I think the football scholarship was huge. I, I really had a good time going to the school and meeting the coaches. It's those kind of milestones, those kind of life events. Having them there for those milestone events were important. There is nothing my family wouldn't do for Jeff, and, and vice versa. I know Jeff's mom and Jeff's sister would do anything for Joe. It was a long road. Uh, I wasn't quick to respond to everything, and I, I grew up with Jeff, and um, I started to want to be like Jeff. And the way that Jeff spoke to people, the way that he helped people, uh, the way that he treated me made me want to do the same thing. There's no way that I could ever thank him enough 